Hey guys, this is Mrs. Don here. I'm out today. So you guys will be doing your lesson um, virtually. So I will be taking notes with you. Feel free to pause as needed. Um, and um, make sure, make a note if you have questions on anything or if there's an issue, um, we can definitely talk about it when I'm back. So um, we're talking about the quadratic formula today, which you guys learned in Algebra 1, but it's been a while. And it's the one that I used to sing a song for. So you probably have heard the song before and I'll write it down. So the quadratic formula is x equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So if you Google this, there's a ton of different videos on the quadratic formula. Uh, the way I know it is the tune of Pop Goes the Weasel. It's x equals the opposite of b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I apologize because that's about the quality of my singing voice. So with the quadratic formula, um, this big formula, we're going to use it to solve. So this works. We can do it instead of factoring, um, instead of solving by square root. It works for all Oh, I guess I should write that up here. This works for all types of quadratics. So um, the first of all, the quadratic has to be written in this form. So it must equal zero. And then again, this works for all equations. That are quadratic, so I should say. Now, one of the things with this, we might end up with imaginary um, answers because of the square root. We talked about imaginary last class. Last, um, so hopefully you remember, so we may have imaginary solutions. And we also may need to simplify. Simplify a radical. Which is the square root. So um, one of the things I'm going to suggest is we use this to figure out A, B, and C. We're going to put everything in and I'm going to show you guys the steps on how to do that down here. So I'll move this up here. So first step is it step it has to equal zero. So our equation must equal zero. So I'm going to move this 35 over. And again, feel free to pause as you need to if I'm going too fast. So it equals zero. Once I know it equals zero, then I like to list what A, B, and C are. The reason I like to do that is then I know what I'm talking about up here in terms of a, b, and c. So the a value is always in front of the x squared. So in this case, a is 1. b is the middle number, so that's negative 2. And then c is the one without a variable, and so that's negative 35. Now you might be saying, hey, I can factor this problem. You could, but we want to practice um, just solving. So um, we're not going to factor, or we're solving by quadratic formula, so we're not going to factor this one. So once I've list A, B, and C, now I'm going to put everything in. So I'm going to put everything in to the formula. So x equals the opposite of b. So b is a negative 2, so I'm going to put positive 2, plus or minus the square root. b squared, now remember, when we square a negative, we want to put it in parentheses, otherwise your calculator will do it wrong. Minus 4 times a times c. All over 2 times a. Now again, pause is needed, so make sure you're okay with what I did here um, in relation to the A, B, and C and where everything kind of comes from. 
Once I've done that, now I'm gonna start working through my order of operations. So when I'm doing order of operations, I do PEMDAS, so parentheses are first. So what I wanna do is everything underneath this root. So I'm gonna work, simplify underneath the root. Sorry. Simplify underneath our square root. So. So negative two squared is four. Negative four and negative 35 is a positive 140. Over two. I'm still gonna simplify underneath the perfect, or under there, so I'm gonna add those together. And hopefully you're noticing that is a perfect square, so we like that. So now that I've simplified underneath the square root, I have to now take the square root and I'm gonna set up two equations because of this plus or minus. So I'm gonna set up two equations. So I'm gonna do two plus or minus square root of 144 is 12 over two. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna do two plus 12 divided by two and two minus 12 divided by two. So I have my two equations here and now we're gonna solve each of them. But when we solve them, we wanna make sure we do the whole top first and then divide. So our final is that we're gonna simplify So this one will be 14 over two. And then this one will be negative 10 over two. So our two answers will be seven and negative five. Sorry. So there's our two answers that we get from these fractions. So I'm gonna flip the page again. If you need to pause it, I'll go ahead and do that. Um, we're gonna go to the back side here. And we're gonna do three more examples. And um, kind of going through the same process. So if you need to, I'm gonna move a little more quickly. So if you need to, to pause to check or to work through these, um, go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna move this nine over to begin with. And I'm gonna list A, B, and C. There's my A, B, and C. So again, now I'm gonna take that and put that all in my quadratic formula. Opposite of B this time, opposite of seven is a negative seven, plus or minus the square root B squared minus four times A times C, all over two times A. So seven squared is 49. Negative, negative is gonna be a positive. And this is gonna be four times two times nine is 72 all over four. Now I'm gonna add those together. This happens to be 121, which is a perfect square. So now I'm gonna do, pull this up here, Negative 7 plus or minus, whoops, I want to make that at 11 now, all over 4. Because square root of 121 is just 11. So now I'm going to set up my two equations. So I get my two answers based off my two fractions here. So again, feel free to pause as needed. I, I know I'm working fast, but I'm trying to save time on my video so it doesn't cut me off. All right, so I'm gonna move along here. 
Um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit different problems. So these worked out really nicely. This one, next one will work out nicely too in just a different way. So I'm going to move this 30x over. Again, I'm going to list my A, B, and C. And now I'm going to put everything into my formula. So some big numbers here. So opposite of B, it's a negative 30, so I'm going to put positive 30. Whoops, hang on. Um, when I move the negative 30 over, Okay, yeah, so sorry, in my other notes, I must have done this wrong. So this is negative 30 squared minus four times A times C all over two times A. Now, 30, negative 30 squared is 900. This is a negative, four times five times 45 is actually 900 as well. So this one's a little bit different. This one, 900 minus 900 is zero. I'm gonna take the square root of zero, which hopefully you know is just zero. And so really, 30 plus or minus zero doesn't really do anything, so it's just gonna be 30 over 10. So this answer is just gonna be three. That one works a little bit more nicely there. And then finally, this one already equals zero, so we're ready to set it up. And so we're gonna put all that into the quadratic formula opposite of B, so positive 3, minus 4 times A times C over 2 times A. So I get 3 plus or minus the square root. It's 9 minus 80 over 8. Now you already might be realizing nine minus 80 is gonna be a negative number. Get a negative 72. Now when we did this in algebra, we would have said, oh, no solution. However, last class we learned, we actually do have a solution. It just happens to be an imaginary solution. So I need to simplify the square root of negative 72. And I'm actually gonna do that off to the side over here. So um, you can kind of just remind you how to simplify the square root of negative 72. So I'm gonna pull out a negative one and then 72. Now 72 has a perfect square that goes into it, it's 36. So 36 is six, square root of negative one is i, and then this is square root of two. So square root of negative 72 becomes this. I'm gonna use that then in my problem. And so 6i squared to 2 is now in place of this. You'll kind of like this one. We can actually stop now because we can't simplify this because none of these numbers have any common factors. So this will be our answer. We'll just leave it that way. It's not super pretty or, fan, you know, it's kind of a fancy answer. So it's our imaginary solution and we just leave it that way. So feel free to go back to any sections you need to. Um, the worksheet you guys are going to get um, from the sub and there's going to be kind of problems of each kind so kind of use this to help you um, and hopefully this worked out okay otherwise bring questions to the next class I'm not expecting you guys to be experts on this um, and I know there might be some questions that'll come up but not doing the homework at all or not doing at least setting up the problem um, I think you guys should be able to do that um, feel free to send me an email if needed um, hope you guys have a good day thanks bye